My name is Dr Ian Stewart and I'm the Excavation Director for the Sydney Metro Project at Central Station and that involved the excavation of the station box. The box is for the new Sydney Metro which runs underneath the current platforms so it's underground and then you'll go up into the new and revitalised Central Station. We always knew there was a cemetery there, but we also knew that the cemetery had been removed in 1901 and they did a fairly thorough job of it. They trenched the whole area to remove all the remains. So we initially started doing test excavations. We found a vault, obviously Vault 1, and then we found Vault 2 and Vault 3 and Vault 4 and Vault 5 and Vault 6, and we found 62 grave cuts. We are excavating in a very old area of Sydney. Although a new railway network is very important, it's also important to record and respect our history. Initially found a large piece of metal that looked like it might have something on it, so we put that to one side and we retrieved other pieces from the sieves, and then we've taken them off to a conservator. The letters are hard to read, and you really have to play around with your cameras to, to, to get a good resolution and see what you can see so we only have a partial name and a partial date but then taking that name and date we can go back to the registers for burials and see who was actually a likely candidate for that particular burial at that particular time and the Perry family came up. Perry family vault has another family name associated with which were probably relatives which were the Ham family and they were quite well known in, in literary circles in Sydney and also in Victoria. We're doing all this to try and find descendants of the family that we can consult with about the fate of the human remains, things like that. We want to do it with the consent of the descendants or interested people. We have an ethical duty to treat these remains with respect. There might still be people in Sydney who are related to these people, so I think there's a real attachment and it says a lot about Sydney's history. These things seem to be so far away from us in the past, and yet we're talking to people who really are very close in to them. We're talking to people who are great-grandchildren of these people, so it helps us remind that early Sydney is not all that far away from where we are at the present day.